Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series. Today I want to show you how to build this villager house. As you can see, I have only used two types of wood and a little bit of other items, but these are very easy to get items. So let me quickly show you the, show you the interior as well. We got a library on this side. We got our storage area on top like this to save some space on here we got a small kitchen well an a indication of a kitchen and we got our bed so it's not much but it is a early game survival house except for these bookshelves this might be very hard to get uh, very early on but all the rest can be built very easily so let's go through the materials now this is actually everything you need and once you got everything let's get started the first thing what you want to do is outlining the build now you want to build from the left to the right keep that in mind add a strip taco boot right here then add two spruce planks and then you can add a dark oak wood once more here we're going to have the entrance and then we can just repeat the same thing over on this side okay next up for the sides what you want to do is quite simple we want to indicate this exact window so you want to have one wide two wide one wide window and then you can build this in and just go back and do the same thing as that to build the sides what you want to do is you want to go on this side and go up five blocks so one two three four five then you can get the windows in okay on the front side we are not gonna have any windows because this is going to be all decorated we will only have windows on the sides which is going to look exactly like this then you can just add some spruce stairs like so okay then you can just build this side in and the back side as well then for the entrance what you want to do is you want to place a dark oak door followed with a spruce stair like this and then on top of this you can just add a dark oak fence followed with some stairs going across like this then you want to add dark oak stairs on these sides fences followed with some spruce trip doors okay now we'll need to make a small arch on top of this to do that you want to go up and in up and in like that okay after that we are going to add obviously some stairs on top to cover it but this is going to be the basic shape for now okay so let's add these stairs on these sides you want to add some dark oak stairs followed with some slabs then you can take some stone brick stairs with some cobblestone stairs and place that in. So let's quickly do that. Here we go. Let's do the same thing over on this side. And we are going to have the same entrance on the back side as well. Except for the door, we are going to make windows of that. Okay, then here you just want to add a stair like this go underneath and fill this all in then uh, you can just get rid of uh, actually sorry keep that in you can just build this up like so okay then we are going to add some dark oak fences in front of it now next up let's decorate this a little bit more you want to add some torches let's do the same thing over on this side 
we go. Now, for these sides, what you want to do is you want to go across from this point. Here we go. And in. For the side windows, we are going to do actually exactly the same. We want to add some dark oak stairs going across. And then dark oak stairs going across on top as well. Followed with some dark oak slabs. Then you can add fences on each corner. Then you can add torches in between it. Glass, uh, I'm going to use the white stained glass because it is the easiest one to get. So that's why I'm going to use this one. But you want to get all the sides in and the roof as well. After that, we are going to decorate this as a little bit. So, uh, let's actually do that right now. You want to add some fences afterwards. So, why not show it right now? Then, like I said, you want to get this side done, the back side done. And after that, we are going to continue decorating the interior. After you got the first row in, what you want to do is you want to add some planks on the back side. So that way it's much easier to get the roof done. And what I will do is I will go up maybe until this point or maybe four rows. I'm not sure about that, but first thing I will connect all of these and after that we might go a little bit higher. So what I will do is I will add some slabs on top of these two blocks and then we are going to add one more row on top. After that I will cover it all with some slabs, with some cobblestone slabs. Okay, And uh, as you can see I mixed up some stone bricks as well. So you might want to do the same thing just because it adds some more depth to this build. Now, next up, we are going to decorate the entrance of this house a little bit before we decorate the interior. So, let's make a nice entrance like this. And again, I'm going to use stairs instead of full blocks. You, you can even use some uh, slabs if you want to instead of stairs. Doesn't matter, actually. Okay, so then you can add some leaves on the sides. Uh, is it too big? No, it's fine. And then you want to add leaves on the corners like this. Okay, and I will add some orchids as well. Okay, now we still need a small farming area. So let's make that on this side. Let's make this line up like so. Then we can just connect these both ends together. Then want to dig one row of blocks out and then add some stairs. And then you can add a water bucket in as well. And here we go. We got a nice little farm area as well. Then you can use a carpet to go up and across so let's add a carpet on the edge now for the interior what we're going to do is the first thing is going to be lighting this up so let's add the pillars so that we can light everything up okay and the pillars will show themselves easily uh, because here we got the same pillar which we have on the outside so it's simple as that you want to light these areas up otherwise mobs can spawn there so keep that in mind then once you got that you just want to add one more row going across like this So we got to be smart with our space. So what I want to do is I want to add some ladders right here so that we can reach up here. And why is that important? Because we can then add some barrels going across 
like this. Okay. So we got a nice little storage area. Then for this side, we can use this as a kitchen area. Like this. Then up here, you just want to go down like that. Then take some spruce strip doors and add it on top. Then you can replace one of these with a furnace or even a blast furnace if you want to. And if you want to have a chimney, you can just add a furnace there and then remove this one and then add walls going up just like this. Okay. Then let's take some buttons and place that in to give this a little bit more decoration uh, let's actually use some trapdoors underneath and here we go we got a small kitchen area here we are going to have some bookshelves change of mind uh, i will add the bookshelves on this side and we'll have the bed right here oops i hate it when i misclick but it is actually the same idea Okay, we'll have some pillars going in between. Uh, let's actually use the stone for this one. Then on top of this, you can add some trap doors. Okay, and here we're going to have our bed. So let's use two beds for this one. And I'm going to use a basic black bed. Okay, so give me some stairs it doesn't matter which one you use you can just add it in uh we are going to make our bed to do that what you want to do is you want to add some stairs there then in the middle you just want to add stairs one like this and another one like that then you can add a bed on top followed with some trap doors and open them up Then on the back side, you just want to have an upside down stair with a regular sill like this. Okay, once you got that, you want to make the sides. Now, I have to think about this a little bit. Uh, let's change this up with some stone. And then what I will do is I will add some torches on the sides with actually some fences on the edge like that so let's use the dark oak why not i think it will yeah much better and here we go i think we actually made great use of our space now this is going to bother me so let's add some stairs to cover this a little bit okay then Let's add torches on these sides and on these sides. And here we go. We actually got a nice little village house. Now you can make this bigger. You can just dig down and make a nice extra room for yourself. But this is going to be it for this episode. And hopefully you enjoyed this short tutorial. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. I'll see you the next time.